What's up everybody, Josh here with 5-8 Magnets. Pretty excited right now. I just got a brand new metal detector in the mail. Um, I got an email reaching out to me from a detector company and they wanted me to test their product. This is the RX-8 or the Green Rex metal detector. I haven't looked at it yet, I just cut open the box because there's a ton of tape on it. I hope it's alright, got a little squished in the mail. Let's check it out and see what we got. Explore more, discover more with Green Rex. Nice packaging there. You got all sorts of user manuals, electronic guides. We got a little carry pouch. I never use these. I'm sure some people do, but one I had one before. Never. I don't even think I opened it. Hey, this is all right. Comes with a set of headphones, wired. We've got a couple of pieces here to put together. Doesn't look like anything's broken, so that's good. Nice little kind of pistol grip going there. Looks all right so far. You know what, I bet it goes this way. Yes, it does. That's not bad. First thought. Ooh, we got a shovel. We got a little camo pouch. Yeah, a little tiny foldable shovel. There's something else in the pouch. Oh, it's a little handle. So I guess you can't keep the whole shovel together when it's in the pouch because it would be too big. So they. Yeah. But you know what? You could do that. So we got a little shovel. We'll check that out in a minute. What else? This must be the computer section. And then we've got the coil. Let's check out what kind of coil we got. Big round coil. Let's say that's about a 10 inch. All right. Let's see if we can't figure out how to put it together. Pretty solid build here. It doesn't feel flimsy at all. A couple different options to extend your size on the green Rex. twist ties on these things which is good that's what keeps everything neat together this side goes on there do I have it upside down oh no it goes right here but I might have put it on upside down yeah I think I did Let me fix that. All right, got that on there the right way. I just collapsed it down to, so I'm not knocking everything over. Let's take a look at, I'm gonna move the headphones out of the way right, right now. Let's take a look at this. Nice solid packaging on there. Keep that nice and safe. There we go. Green Rex. Let's see how this goes on. Looks like it just slides on. All right, that just slides on there. Pretty simple. Is it charged out of the box? No. Do I need batteries? Probably. Two 9 volts. Two 9 volt batteries for the back. We will get those. 
get that checked out for sure. Can't test it without batteries, that's for sure. That is the green Rex and how you assemble it. All right. All right, we are out in the field with the green Rex metal detector. Let's turn on, see what we got. We got a nice, very bright LCD screen. It's got a screen brightness light. We got a pinpoint button, volume modes. So the mode there is discrimination, memory if you have presets, jewelry, which looks like it just took the iron out, and all metal. So we got a sense sensitivity and a depth gauge. Let's just go all metal for right now and uh, we'll see how that works. Alright, I found a little clip here. Now that's saying silver or iron, which it is magnetic. All right, we're getting a couple of signals here. Let's see. So we're getting an 80. And just up here, we're getting a 20. All right, let's dig this, see what we got. And then we'll dig the other one and see what's over there. It's definitely different from the Equinox. It's a whole new learning curve and you guys are here with me through the whole thing. Stay. Okay, we got something. And we've got a piece of wire. All right, well, it has successfully found metal, so therefore it is a metal detector. And let's see what that was ringing up as. It's kind of the 70s that I was hoping for. All right, now this one is saying that it's a low signal. A nine or a 10, which is junk, but I do have it in all metal mode just to kind of get used to the machine. See what we're working with. Saying it's in the hole still. Let's see what we get. Not finding anything yet. That's it. All right, well, we found whatever that is. It's a iron gumdrop. What is that? Um, so it was definitely reading as an iron signal. And that is what we found. So successful determination. I, want, I think it's the top of an old fence post. Those little guys up on the top there. So, just an old school one. So I think that's what that is. 
it found it as you can tell the pinpointing you know was a bit off it was way over here and it was telling me that it was more towards this way so I had to find it a little bit but it did find it and it did find what it said it was looking for so okay so for the green Rex another find all right gonna run a little test with the green Rex here I'm marked out a quarter a dime this is a shield back penny and then we got a copper penny right there what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close my eyes I'm gonna walk in a straight line and then we're gonna see if I can tell where the coins are and what kind of tones they are so I'm gonna close my eyes start swinging that might be be a quarter somewhere. Maybe. I'd say there's a quarter here. Okay, so it's past it, it's behind it. That should be screaming. It almost seems like the sensor for the coil is like right yeah. there. In the and your mid, like, what's the point of having the coil then? Because it should just be like yeah, a little if, nub. If you look at it now, it's beeping a lot when I'm over it, but it should be in the center. Okay, there's a little bit of beeps. All right, I'm gonna close my eyes again, see if I can find the dime. Another couple steps forward. Eyes are closed. We're hearing some beeps. Somewhere. All right, there's a couple more beeps. So I'm gonna go somewhere around here. Again, off to the side of the coil. There's the dime right there. It's picking up my watch that time. So again, not... <laughs> it did sound like that. So it seems like the closer it is to the, the connection of the coil. And now we're gonna do the new penny. Eyes are closed. Hearing some beeps. You know what? I'm gonna try something. Where's the pinpoint? Should is that the pinpoint, Brian? PP uh, button um, under my thumb? Yeah, straight up. All right, my eyes are right there. Still closed here. Should be on a penny. All right, that one wasn't too bad. It is. Again, pretty close right there to the edge of the coil, but not quite in the center. All right, we got the 76 copper penny coming up now. Let's close my eyes. Okay, that one seems to like it a lot. Let's do the pinpoint again. Right in the center on that one. So it did find the Sounds copper like it penny. Likes copper. Yeah, it likes copper. But this, I feel like the pinpoint mode is just a little bit off. As you saw with some of the digs that I did, uh, it was hard finding the, the items with the green wrecks here, but it will find things. But good starter machine, you know, good for someone. Maybe you lost a ring and you just want to buy a machine to find that one thing and you have no interest in doing metal detecting again. This could be an option for you. Or if you're just trying to get out and, you know, get started, you want to save up those quarters and pennies to buy something else in the future, could be a good machine for that. So.